members of Seoul remaining. Yeah, it's gonna be, uh, looks like eventually a victory here for the Valley of Doha. We'll see if they can actually pull this out. Zephyr, Guido, and Gambler are the only ones on the point for Seoul right now. Gambler and Guido are falling back to Fleta, who has swapped to the Tracer. Yeah, I mean, even if you look at the War of Attrition, you've got the respawn advantage coming in for the Valiant on attack here. Soul though, not giving it up quite yet. Guido gets res. They're gonna send the Winston in. Now here comes a blade from Agility. They wanna take this point right now, and he is gonna get a few kills to help do just that. And man, that's gonna be Valiant taking that point, but hey, a couple ultimates to use. They've still got their own trance, which they're gonna burn right now. Hack comes in onto space here. Agility is meanwhile getting more kills. He's got the blade out one more time. There's a D-Mech, there's a death onto Zephyr, and Valiant have this all but wrapped up. That will be it, and a quick attack around five minutes and 17 seconds. Pressure on soon and push him back, but he's still got some more free shots here. They really want to take out this Widowmaker. Back here comes in, Gambler! Says, hey, Neptuno, oh, man, oh, oh, oh. I can be an aggressive Mercy, too. Fate down. Maybe a chance here soon does get res. And Agilities again with another big tire on Miro after the res is used. We're into overtime right now. And Soul hasn't even taken the point yet. Ticking away the members of Soul down. And That's Valiant it. with a pretty dominating Temple of Anubis win. This quickly, Zephyr just kind of hanging out by the corner. They got to commit to an attack at some point here. I mean, they're Blade getting coming in from the side. He's got nearly attacked by Zephyr, but not quite enough. Zephyr, d taken taking down. There's a barrage of agilities. Just drops, gets domed by Gambler. That's his second kill of the match if you're keeping track, but it's not really slowing down the Valiant at all. And it doesn't really what stop the them what? from taking the point. It comes in to slow things down a bit more. And there goes Custa. So, Soul Dynasty might be able to hold it here for the moment, but you've still got some members of Valiant on there. And I don't think no, they will, not going to be enough. Yeah, they're not. There's too many Ooh. members of the Valiant. They're going to take point B, only slightly delay Valiant. Now it's Soul Dynasty. Not a lot there to protect them. Yeah, shooting a lot of tanks with that tactical visor and barriers. Guido going to get revived, and Fleta will take out soon. So Valiant, looks like they are going to get pushed back eventually. They commit to self-destruct to this. Oh, Miro with, like, no health, and he gets taken down by fate. And without that Winston, it's going to be tough to keep the payload where it is. They are going to push back Zephyr for the moment, rather, a space. As Soul scrambles to try to just keep people well, on Well, Agility is going to turn that right around. Time. That's right, Agility is paving the way <laughs> for a finish here on Valiant. Found by Tracer. Two ticks nearly for Soul Dynasty on the point, though. There's a res on Nikito. Now Kareem chased down in the room. He's not going to make it out of there alive. It's like, no, you can't hide behind the cash register. No one's going to believe you work at that hotel. And they didn't get any value out of the EMP again, Doa. No, I They're, don't think so. Because even though they got the EMP down, we had already seen Kareem pop the Transcendence. He goes onto the low ground, heals up the tanks that are hacked. And they want to give Soul this point. Space with the self-destruct, soon getting chased by Fleta. Getting a little bit low there, but he will recall. Agility's meanwhile picked up by Munchkin, and there's the kill on to soon. And that so should be it, like finally. Yeah. So Soul is going to get this payload rolling. His chance to use the Dragon Blade, gonna go in with Miro on that. Winston gets in the back line. There's there a you kill. go. That's exactly what he was looking for. Oh, can't find Cuss in the air though, but he's back on the pillar. Has to deal with space now. Agilities gets res. It was so crucial for Cuss to get out of that actually. Agilities on the run again, getting the heal for Mercy, and he's gonna stay alive. But meanwhile, space does get de mech So, Soul Dynasty winning the fight in the end here and conserving the rest of their ultimate. Space has already made the call to give up point B. That's why he's not gonna pull out the self-destruct. For them to find that opening, and that makes the biggest difference. And they get to it at least enough to cause the OT, but you gotta get closer. Kareem gets res back again. Now Soul Dynasty can't keep Miro up. The Dragon Blade comes out for Fleta, but not enough from him. He can't quite carry his team to victory, and it looks like the LA Valiant are gonna go up 2-0 in this series. And that will be a hold on point C for the Valiant. Nicely done. Right now, or a hook. They're gonna come around the far side. He is going to actually stay here. He should be able to break this barrier from the Reinhardt. And he wants to get him in the corner with that oh. ultimate. Munchkin, whoa! 3K with his own Reaper ultimate. And that's gonna flip the point right back over for Soul. Little bit greedy there for the yeah, Valiant. They did drop the Earth Shatter. At this point, Guido working his way towards the point as well, but they're doing a good job of zoning the members of Soul out, and nobody's gonna get there as Gambler falls to soon. Nope. And a celebration charge. Sure enough. Oh! <laughs> Tries to back himself off, gets hit. 
Or gets a hit. Got On Kareem, Kareem too. Yeah, there, yep. Really big. On Kareem. There goes Munchkin, though. And Ellie Valiant trying to hold on, but Soul Dynasty trying to claim that point for the moment. Uh, they've lost a few. Uh oh, oh no! Well, let's call it a reset. Yeah, it, it was a reset. Guys. So as you said, so that they're gonna at least have that to work with, but this has been the story of this series. Soul struggling to push when they don't have an overwhelming ult advantage, and they're not even gonna get what? there. The hold, the oh, hold stopped no. him from touching the point. Wow. Looking forward with that whole hog, really trying to get that payload moving in. Nice halt into hook, but they can't quite get the kill. They do get one, though, with that Dragon oh. Strike. Kareem comes in, and now the Valiant mopping up the rest of the support, or the rest of the defensive efforts, rather, from the Soul Dynasty. That should be about it for point A. That was great from Kareem. Not only taking out the Rip Tire, he knew exactly uh, where the Junkrat was hiding. For the, the amount of, like, distance, Tracers have snuck payloads forward. Soon oh, would be would way be, out ahead. He would be way out ahead. Out, but it looks like Valiant gets back under the payload, and now they've got that primal rage from Fate to try to keep the fight alive. And to go ahead and use Space's self destruct as well, and they are actually coming out on top. Last ditch effort for Valiant, but it pays off as it looks like they're gonna finish up point B. And the Arjo Aguido had swapped to the Soldier 76 to get back into the fight. But Valiant grinding forward, they've got Guido, they've got Zephyr. And they're handling these respawns. Soul Dynasty, they came so close, but can they finish it? I don't know, man. Gambler biding his time, but he can't get there. And Valiant will complete their attack one in OT. And try by Munchkin with this. Agility decides that Kareem already had the hook on him, so he doesn't pick up a kill. It was a nice try to double down. Well, it was it was some damage onto the tanks that occupied a lot of time for the healers and got Valiant some kills in the end. Uh, this is just a big cleanup now from the Valiants as they push. Gonna have to, right? Soon, meanwhile, though, and good shot. Kido launched into the air. Half health, but he lives for the moment. No, he doesn't! A kill from Agility is a finishing blow, and there's another great hook on the Zephyr. Gambler gets a res on Nikito, but they're basically the only ones left. Supercharger for Valiant now, and guess what, guys? As soon as Munchkin is down, I think that's gonna be it for this one. L.A. Valiant coming in totally on fire in their first match. That is a 4-0.